Welcome everyone to a new tutorial. I had a lot of requests from subscribers for a new design on a stone. So I designed this last night using a four pointed mandala, which is something we haven't done before. And I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to use the Red Heart Crystal Light Crochet Hooks. There's a small set and a large set. There's purple and pink and aqua and medium blue and then the green, yellow, orange, red and the small blue. So I'll be telling you the colors as I work. I'm also using a Tinsky polymer clay sculpting tool for the smallest dots and an Essence manicure stylus. Now I created this design, I was just fooling around with a compass trying to come up with a, a new shape for a mandala. I wanted to try something a little different so I was just kind of goofing around and I colored in some sides and then I tried a, this cross that I had seen and, and then I tried it on a black background to see how the colors looked and just got some ideas before I tried it on the stone. And this is what inspired me, this beautiful church in St. Petersburg with the gold and uh, olive and turquoise colors in the tops of the onion domes. So here are the paints we'll be using. I will also list these in the comments. Got them all mixed up and ready to go. And here's my stone. This is an oval beach stone that I've already painted black and I sprayed the back side with a clear varnish and let it dry. Now I'm marking the center of the stone with a charcoal pencil and I'm spinning it. And if you spin it and the dot stays pretty much in the same place, you know you've got the center. So you need something round. You can use a compass or you can just use a coin. I'm using a quarter to trace a one inch circle on either side of that center dot. It's kind of slippery <laughs> so you gotta, gotta hold on to it. And then again placing the coin on the center dot and making two more circles and they're going to overlap and create these wonderful little petals on the inside. You're also going to need to find the center of each of those circles. So I just kind of eyeballed it here. I just kind of did an eye line from the corner there over to the center to mark a center dot. And there we are. So let's start now. I'm going to be doing a little something different here we haven't tried before. This is swiping a dot. I'm using the gold iridescent paint and I'm going to swipe down a dot on either side of that curved line and then another one right next to it, just a little bit higher. I'm going to tuck in a fourth one and then a fifth one, even smaller, and then a sixth one, and then I'm going to make a dot. We're going to do that all the way around. You might want to practice it on cardstock first. So that gives us a really unique center for this mandala. Now I'm using uh, the small blue tool to make a green dot and then I'm using the medium green to make some micro dots here with the polymer clay sculpting tool and I'm just walking those down to the center green dot and I have just a little tiny space there I'm going to fill up with a couple more dots and then do this all the way around as well really just filling in this space with color. Now I'm going to complete the end of that petal using that bright green. This is the uh, Granny Smith Martha Stewart paint with four more dots and that's what it looks like close up. Isn't that neat? It's fun to work with a new shape. Now I'm going to that beautiful turquoise and I'm going to be walking dots along the guideline with that blue paint and my manicure stylus. Just walking them to as small as they will go. I'm going to do that all the way around. Now I'm using the yellow tool to make a white dot right where those two circles meet. And this paint was a little thick, left a, a little bit more of a peak than I wanted because I know I'm going to be doing top dots on that. So to make those peaks uh, flatten out, I just swirled them with my stylus. 
And now I'm going to walk around that dot using the blue again. And then I use the manicure stylus to make three bright green dots again in that, in that Granny Smith color. And then I'll use the smallest tool, the polymer clay sculpting tool, to walk those dots back up. I really am just making this up as I go. This was something, a project I did last night, and uh, I, you can't tell here, I paused the camera a lot just trying to figure out what to do next. So I wanted to add a little bit more gold, so I used the yellow tool to make three or four big gold dots and then two small gold dots on either side of that. This golden fluid iridescent gold is really wonderful paint. And now I use the red tool to make two white dots side by side right next to that gold dot. There's a lot of white and gold in the architecture of this church. And then I'm going to use the purple tool to make a big blue dot at the end of that row. Now I'm using the small blue tool to make a green dot in between those rows. This was the darker green. And then I used that uh, bright green again with the small blue tool to put three dots at the end of that blue row. And then I'm going to walk those up with the manicure stylus. I wasn't really sure what to do. <laughs> I kind of didn't know what to do next. So I looked again at the picture and noticed that there were uh, a little bit more of the white and gold arches in the front of this church. So I decided to do another white and gold arch. So I used the small blue tool to make a gold dot at the end of this petal. And then I used the a manicure stylus to do two small dots on either side of that because we're preparing to walk these up again. And instead of walking them up in gold, I switched over to white. And so I'm using the white to finish walking those up. So that gives me another white and gold element to this design. Now what to do next? I put uh, some light blue top dots in here just to start making this have a richer, more 3D effect. Didn't want to make it too complicated because it's the whole purpose of this design was to leave some, some space and use the black. I looked at the design again and there are these chains that hang down from the top of the domes and attach to the base. I think they're a stabilizing element, but they're also decorative. So I decided I was going to put some gold chains in this design. I just didn't know quite what I was going to do. I decided to walk from one petal to the other. I'm going to start up at the larger one and walk down to the lower one, kind of in between the white and the gold dot. This was really scary because I didn't have any guidelines. I wasn't quite sure if this was going to work or not. And I thought it looked okay, so I decided to do another side. And it worked. It, it had the effect that I wanted. I still have the open space that I want, but I've got these golden chains hanging down now that really remind me of this beautiful church. So there it is. There's my new design. I hope to see your designs on my Facebook page. Go ahead and paint this and send a picture to me. And if you have any questions or suggestions, you can either go to my website or my Facebook page. Thanks for watching.